All right, guys, Matt Goodman, LeadFTS.com. I'm down here in um, Cordova, Tennessee with the owner of NBS Fitness, uh, Elite FTS team member and future columnist, David Allen. David, thanks for having us. Thanks, um, man. Why don't you tell us a little about your event you had today uh, at the SPF in town, and you guys ran a nice little power lift to me here. Yeah, we had our first uh, SPF, uh, SPF meet uh, south of the border, a little pro-am. Um, it went great. It had 47 lifters, uh, a lot of guys in PRs, a lot of guys doing their first meet. Um, it's really good to kind of see the whole MBS family come together. Um, you know, lead up to the equipment. It was, everyone loved it. Everyone uh, loved all the support. We're really happy with the turnout. Good, good. Um, now tell us a little about what you do here. Um, this is obviously your facility here. Um, this is your business. Um, tell us what your main focus is here at MBS. Well, our kind of main focus is just being the you know, most badass facility in all of Memphis. Um, we're the only powerlifting strongman. You know, kind of hardcore gym in the area. Um, so, you know, I, I run the gym, we sell memberships, I also do personal training, online training. I have a powerlifting team that I, that I uh, coach as well. So, you know, my day is full of all kinds of activities, but uh, mainly just trying to make people better um, through the sport of powerlifting. Yeah, uh, your, your powerlifting team is really diverse. Um, everything from the up and coming guy to, uh, to a couple guys that are on the verge of. Uh, going pro and actually probably doing some really big things <clears> in sport, <throat> even all the way down to your own mom. Yeah. Uh, now tell us how do you program to accommodate that many different personalities and that many different levels of strength? It's a challenge for sure. Um, you know, I, I spend a lot of individual time, but but mainly my, my main focus is I try to coach them and teach them right. so that they can learn how to how to train themselves. I don't want them to just be, you know, following what I tell them to do blindly, I want them to, to have an understanding of why they're doing stuff. And so then it, it becomes more of a uh, two person kind of process where you figure out together what the best uh, path forward is. So, you know, like I said, I, it's it's more individual. Every part, we have a general game plan that we do, but it's a lot of one-on-one -on -one talking, kind of come up with a plan, you know, you know each different phase and right. so on and so forth. Very good. Um, so tell us a little bit about your background real quick. How did you get into this? Um, and how did you go from being, um, where are you starting and where you are today? So how did you get that transition from being a strength coach into a business owner yeah. um, and having your own facility? Yeah, um, you know, well, yeah, I started training in, in eighth grade and, and continued on through high school as a football player. Uh, played in college, got a degree in exercise science. I wanted to be a college strength and conditioning coach. So I actually got on at a D1 school in the SEC. I worked there for a little bit, got a chance to come back up to Memphis and run a sports training facility. Uh, and in that time period, I kind of decided I wanted to try something different. So I started pursuing physical therapy, realized that wasn't for me. But in that, uh, over that transition, I started personal training. Uh, I was personal training at a local health club, you know, your typical commercial gym. I butted heads with the managers a whole lot, but I was, you know, training a ton of clientele. So I started going through the process of trying to find a, a gym that more suited, you uh, my personality and my needs and realized there wasn't one in the area. So I took that as a as a good sign that we could uh, use one here in Memphis. Um, I just went through the steps to, to make that happen and two years later, um, you know, we've got an amazing facility with a ton of people in it. So it shows, you know, people needed a serious training facility. Um, and so that's kind of the transition I went through. You know, I, I, I wouldn't have picked it to happen or guess it would have happened when I first began, but I'm so happy that it has. It's, I love my job. I love uh, this family. I love being associated with Lead FTS. Um, you know, I couldn't ask for anything better. No, it seems like it's really going well for you. So um, tell everybody how is the best way to get a hold of you. Uh, give us uh, your contact information. Yep. How can people in the area contact you and get a, be part of this uh, family? Yeah, um, you can go to our website. It's www.nbsfitness.net. Um, you can also find us on Facebook at MBS Fitness, or you can um, you can send me an email. It's David at nbsfitness.net. Okay, David, thanks for having me down here. Appreciate it. Thanks, it was a great time, yep. uh, guys. We'll be doing more of these. Uh, this will be a little Elite FTS Road Show. Again, first stop here is David Allen, VIP customer. Look for his column at uh, www.elitefts.com.